he stayed at my house and met the family and all of this stuff. Then I went to see him and meet his family. <coughs> and then we, we went together to New York to see the, the TMT family. Mm -hmm. And had to, I had to meet all the presidents and all these, the older, <laughs> the older guys. <laughs> Blew my mind. <laughs> KillerKellerOfficial.com THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp and street culture. THTC, eco-fashion redefined since 1999. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. We need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. One, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Okay, one, two, one, two. <laughs> 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 yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Killer Keller podcast. Hello. Big shout out to Graffiti Kings, and of course, we are we are, we are live and direct in Central. Well, actually, it's not Copenhagen. No, it's not. It's not. Where else is it? It's Nestville. Nestville. One hour away from Copenhagen. Down well, south, yeah. That's right, that's right. Well, of course, you know, we do it international without question. If you're coming around these parts, you want to know about my G, Sweat and CMP, one inside the place. OG business inside, how are we boys? We're good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> really good. <laughs> Keep today, it's special today. Yeah. With you on stage, you know, that's really, yeah, it was really great. It's, it's been such a vibe. And like we were saying before, even press and record on this, it's that feeling of, wow, we haven't done anything for ages. Wow, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's such a luxury to have a, a really easygoing, appreciative, not so big crowd mm. because of the lockdown, right? Yeah, exactly. You know? Have you guys been painting a lot, you know, over the last few? Yeah. Yeah? A lot. <laughs> Especially yeah. today as well. Today. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Always painting. Yeah. These times are even better. Yeah. You know, people stay inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so you're out and about. Sneak around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love still alive. We are talking, right, listen, so, you know, on an international vibe, we are talking about legacy business. We're talking about legendary writers in the game from back in the day till now. TNT with uh, Scheme, that's the man I sweat here. And then CMP1, bro, like you, your, your legacy goes back like as far as when the UK first started their graph right. thing, right? I don't know, it's, I've just been here for, I guess, a while. Yeah. Yeah, for 30 something, five plus, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's been, uh, Huh. Yeah, we've been busy. Well, I let's guess. start it off with you. How, how did it all begin? Where did it all take place? How did it start? Actually, for me, it started here. Uh, of course, seeing uh, things on, uh, you know, like TV, mm -hmm. like two channels, maybe even three, mm -hmm. one German, one Swedish, and at first just one uh, Danish channel, you know, on TV, mm -hmm. and just saw some, you know, some b-boying first, mm -hmm. and then later uh, the graffiti in the background. But mm -hmm. it was the b-boying, the dancing first, and try to understand that new language. What was that? Mm -hmm. I only knew about football. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing football was, you know, what, what, what I was doing, yeah. basically. And so that's all to, you, th that's all yeah, your interests were? Yeah, it was like, you know, like any normal kid, mm -hmm. just playing football and trying to be doing somewhat, you know, good at school. Yeah. And that was, that was it. And suddenly this thing, you know, is on, is on the screen. Yeah. And, uh, and that must have been like an, a, a, a century explosion. Yeah, it was. And it was like forgetting all about the football. Yeah. Like from that moment, it was, okay, no more uh, Pelé. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Goodbye. That's, you know, sorry you did good. But, you know, that's a new thing now. And the creativity, of course, was like mind-blowing. You can yeah. do good if you, if you control mm. or dance or even beatbox. Yeah, because this I whole was, thing takes, it, it takes on a new life, doesn't it? Yeah, it was, it was, uh, yeah. So, so suddenly this, uh, this whole thing about being youth, which is funny. Mm. Like, wow, it's, man, we can, we can actually, you know, accomplish something. Mm. I, got, I had this, I can't remember who I was talking to about it, but they were saying like, there was a working class uh, aspect to hip hop that allowed it. It was people saying you can do it, like anyone can do it. Mm. You've just got to have a, a, a skill set in mind yeah. and be the best and achieve the best. That was uh, that was the that was the message, right? Yeah, mm. yeah, exactly. Did uh, was there anything? Because obviously, like 
you had a couple of options, right? It's like you got one of four or five different things. Was it like the graffiti just completely took over your attention? It was for me. It was dancing first. First, okay. So dancing yeah. was the first thing. It was, yeah. And um, but then it was also the the first year. Within the first year, the graffiti thing was uh, really intriguing. Was wow, what is this? Mm. This whole language again. What is this about? Mm. And when I got onto that, you know, that was that was it for me. The yeah, graffiti. We Right. We tried it all, even even, yeah. even DJing, and I still beatbox. I mean, when I take a shower, of course. I, I, don't, I, don't, I would never be on stage. With, you know, of course, I can't do it, but I still love the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Even, of course, I'm not an MC, yeah. but I still think it's funny to, you know, to, to try to rhyme when you are driving a car. Yeah. So the whole thing, I guess, we're just in love with the whole chew bang, but we yeah. became graffiti writers or artists or whatever you want to mm. call us. But, it was the it was it was the graffiti thing. So what, how 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 risky was it back in the day for you know for a um, for a writer in Denmark? Like what was what was the graph scene like back in the day? We're in Denmark, so it was real mellow. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> was it super chilled? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> well, and you could just like get away with murder. You could just do it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's mad. <laughs> so was it was it trains first? Did you were you automatically leaning towards trains or was it? Trains and walls, we just, we did everything. Really? Yeah. How did that, like, because I hear stories, obviously, in the UK, you know, security is probably like the highest in, in the world when it comes to protecting their, uh, their properties. But um, I do hear stories that back in the day that people just used to literally like walk up to a fence and just like lift their legs over and then there's the train, you know? Yeah. It's actually baffling now to think of it. And uh, We went to the countryside where there was no fences at exactly. all. You could just walk into the yard. What? They left the train there like Friday evening. They would never expect anybody to, you yeah. know. They came back for it Sunday morning. Mm. We had plenty of time. So back, back, so, so back then we would have plenty of time. Mm. Back then. Really? That just blows my mind, man. So you're like, you, and you're talking about top to bottoms, whole cars, all fucking works. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. But we it didn't. Was, it was a different time. Yeah. We were kids, and we didn't know, you know, mm. <laughs> we didn't how know. to to <laughs> handle all this uh, mm. luxury. Yeah, yeah. You can call it compared yeah. to now. What paints were What paints were available? At, Out here, we had yeah. a Norwegian brand called Quick. Quick. With seventeen colors, right? Yeah. About, I think, yeah. Yeah. About 17 colours? Yeah. Oh, shit. So, uh, so you mixed them up, the colours? You had to mix them up? And, yeah. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. I've been told about this. Like, so you put the, what is it? You had a, a, you put one in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. And then you put the other one out, and then you get a, 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 a biro, pen, broken pen. pen. That's tube, it. Yeah. And then you tube it in, shake, shake, shake. Yeah. Jobs are good. Yeah, yeah exactly. You have, a, you have a baby blue, for instance, or yeah. some colours you would never, you have your original colours. Yeah your own whatever makes the colors. It, 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 the, the creative side to that is incredible. It's like the, the whole idea of like coming up with that idea. Like how do you, how did you ever get to that point where it's like putting A to B in that, in that fashion? That's just mine. But it's part of that creative That's process. Hip -hop, yeah. 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 Um, hip hop has this way of, of taking something from nothing and, and yeah, like with restriction comes that creativity, right? Yeah. Um, what other things like back in the day were, were like that, where you would take a can and can and do the changing of colours and stuff? What other things were the tricks wise back in the days that you, you adapted to just getting by? Hmm. Oh, we, we did like, um, like, like we're doing this yeah. here, we did this miniature, miniature yeah. in, in factories, just getting some sound there, getting some people together, dance floor, just really basic. That was the dream. That was the dream to yeah. actually, to find your own little location mm. and do what we do now. But it was, again, like he's saying, it was, it was so small. But for us, it seemed big because we actually did it. Yeah. We got together maybe only 20 guys, maybe only 10 guys, but we had our own little jam. And whatever it took, finding that, uh, you know, wires, or what, you know, yeah. it, we just made it work for, and for us it was a big thing. Even though it was so small, it was super small. But, but yeah, yeah, it was it was the, I think the, the way to do it, the the, the hip hop way to be for us. Yeah, yeah. We learned a lot from that. Yeah, it's true. I always find like, um, particularly from a European side of of the culture, there's a very strong hand in hand with graph and and hip hop. Obviously, you know, UK. Uh, uh, 
and to a lesser degree, America, they don't, they don't always adapt graffiti entirely to hip hop. Um, I think there's some elements of its DNA that goes missing. The style, you kind of lose it a little bit as time goes on for that reason. And I, I still don't know how I feel about it. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like new shit. It's like it develops. And I think it comes with technology as well. I think new stuff comes in mm. to play that yeah. alters the, the landscape of, yeah. of, a, of a scene, right? Yeah. Um, do you find, do you find like, there's a few pros and cons to like social media now being the way it is? <laughs> Which, by the way, we are talking to people here that have high numbers on their Instagram because they're kings. He does, he does for sure. <laughs> I'm still underground. <laughs> it's just fun, just to. I have my Instagram is only, only wet paint, mm. so it's like only fresh pieces. Mm. I have to post it before the paint is dry, and there's no like throwbacks or whatever you call it, like mm. old pictures. I love that principle. So it's got to be so, wet, just as you've done it. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you so it's the time brand of day new, so it's kind of like following, you know, what the media is for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah in and out sort of thing. Yeah. The, uh, quickly, go and press the button. Quickly, it's, it's the white one over there. It's him be holding it down. Quickly, bro. I got, you know, uh, it's the top ones, that's the one. Uh, the top, top ones? Yeah, the one. Yeah. There we go. And just like that, we're back on. It's all right, we've got a meter going on, you see. Um, brother, you know, while we're on the subject of you and uh, the lights on, I. I delved into your Instagram and bro, like the linear style that you have is, it, it, it's, I've never seen anything like it. Wow, thanks man. For real, like it feels like. Yeah, it, this guy's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should really, you know, you, should, you could have an occupation with it. It's <laughs> <laughs> got some legs, man. You know what I mean? You make some money off of that, man. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, man, like, <laughs> yo, like, it's, it, the style is like, I've not seen anything wow, to that level of detail. Actually, the whole thing was, actually, it's so, also have a <laughs> pushing, of course, and I even push him, believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah. We have the studio together yeah. and, uh, <gasps> and, 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 and being very, um, uh, really honest, yeah. of course, not just friends, but honest friends yeah. uh, and always try to follow. Now, what is his direction and, and, and you know is there a red line mm. from what he you know stands on what he what he came from and so on and so on. he's doing the same thing with me but back to the lines i think uh we talked about this years and years ago trying to um uh, think of it as uh as drawing on the wall and not mm. just painting on the wall i mean thinking of it as a big piece of like an a4 just a, a blank piece of paper Mm. So, so the whole thing, even though that we sometimes, it's not often, but sometimes we do a so-called official mural, like a big whatever, yeah, yeah. and the, you know, the approach to it, uh, we try to keep it as if it is a sketchbook. So the whole thing of drawing, sketching, sketching, drawing, drawing, sketching, blah, 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 you know, yeah. out of that becomes the, you know, uh, the, the line work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or that method. Yeah. So this, yeah, yeah. And, and, and not try to be uh, so, um, you can see it within his work as well, uh, like uh, like super, um, uh, uh, you know, steady. I love it. Yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just being, you know, natural about it, and even leaving in all the extra lines yeah. because they even do the under coat uh, work for you. It's like when you know? you're doing in a sketchbook and you erase certain elements of a line that might be in pencil. Because that's what I noticed with your stuff is there is that it, it's almost like you've painted it the color of the, a book. And then yeah. you've gone, you've reverse engineered it, but then moved it forward. Okay, I mean, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Thanks a lot I mean, for, you, for you to actually see that. Yeah, for real. Yeah. It's just, it's so. just so impressive. Like, Thanks. Thanks and and likewise with with your stuff, sweat, like the tension and release of like you go from super thin to fat, and you change, yeah. you alter the shape as you, as you look at, across. There's that tension and release in the letters as, yeah. and some letters are they, they're, they're spiked and. Um, adjusted in a particular way that you f you're following it around. It's music. It's music. It's music, bro. It's a dance. He's a musician. He's yeah. a musician. I'm trying to tell him <laughs> yeah. a jazz like. <laughs> that kind of ring, that kind of reigns true when I think of both of you two styles. Um, the fact that you work in the same building together. Yeah. It's yeah. good. He does. The funny he thing really is that we sometimes it. say that we draw yeah. in the same way, yeah. and we have the same line, even though our things look so different. So different, yeah. Yeah. When we put them together, it's, you, can, you can tell. Hmm. When we put them together, you can tell that actually it's easy for us to make it work as 
as one painting, yeah. not like two people painting at the same time, but actually painting together at yeah. the same time. Yeah. That's a different thing. We actually paint together. Not just at the same time. How much do you? It, yeah, yeah, totally. How much does it? How much are you influencing each other? Do you, is that? Is this a real close? Because, like you say, there is a real difference in 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 medium and style, the way that you guys approach the cans. But there's certainly. Fit, but now you've come to mention it. It's like, yeah, like how much does? How much do you influence each other? Like, d is this daily with every piece? Do you look at it subjectively, each one in that way? I, I think don't. it's the it's the it's the music. For me, it's the music in CMP's thing, mm. things and the and the feeling and the atmosphere and the and the energy I can see he put into it. All the hundred thousand little lines, scratches, mm. <laughs> like the the dirtiness. Mm. That makes me want to paint more. Oh, that's something that he does. <laughs> and I just believe you know to have a studio with him yeah. and to be with him. Yeah, yeah. best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like the bromance of bromances, <laughs> boy. Like, but you have to do better. You know, yeah. he's yeah. doing a lot. You know, it's, it's not possible to keep up, of course. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But then there's that competition of all. That's like a crew attitude. It's like we learn from each other. Yeah, you, yeah. Basically, yeah. How basically. long you known each other for? Thirty-one. <laughs> maybe, maybe thirty-one or thirty-two years. That's amazing. Well, not even. We met at a rap concert in Copenhagen. Which, and, what, and what was that? <laughs> Which <laughs> <laughs> What was it? What was that? What? Public Enemy, uh, Run DMC or some, no something. No way. Like that. Probably, yeah. 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 Yo, bum rush your <laughs> fucking souls, man. Like, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you guys fucking. It's a long time. It's a long time. Yeah. And, and to think that, you, you know, without, you know, Overthinking too much, you guys have seen a lot of changes in the scene. Oh God, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, like, what's your so, favorite? It's actually crazy when, you know, yeah. we look back at this relationship because we did so many things, building culture, always building hip hop, put pushing this yeah. in front of us. It's always the culture before mm -hmm. us. The culture is bigger than us. Yeah, yeah. For a fact. We want to push this before yeah. it's CMP and sweat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's why we also, yeah, we work here, work together, work, yeah. do all these yeah. things for the city. Yeah, you're part of an organism. Yeah, you're part of a thing. Yeah, yeah. and you're you create, you're contributing, you're adding your card in exactly to the hat. Actually, the more that we do for this, the mm. more that we try to put into this, the more energy we put into the the the, the culture here. Just even, I mean, just locally or in Denmark, mm. the better it is for us. That's that's right. You know, and here you're embracing like so many young kids, man. Like here is a hip hop jam full stop. It's like you guys are in the mix. I, it was hard even getting the boys in. It was hard getting you guys in. So like this <laughs> like, is should we go? Yeah, and I had sweat. I had sweat. They're going. Oh, I'm not really at all. <laughs> I don't like this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Klaus, you, like, we gotta go. We oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta do it now. He's just beatboxed. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> he isn't going until we've done this. <laughs> How did you how did you meet Scheme? How did this all come to, to, to fruition? How did you become a part of his crew? Oh, um, we had Chain Tree here. I met Chain Tree in New York mm. a couple of times uh -huh. and painted with him, of course. And then I we brought him out here. Yeah. In 2017. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the videos. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. You guys did a few pieces together, right? Like a, a number of pieces. We did a bunch of pieces together yeah. with Chain. Then Ch Chain went home. Yeah. And he said to Scheme, you have to go out there, yeah. meet these guys, because yeah. they, are, they are crazy. Yeah, right. So finally we got Scheme here, yeah. and he, he fell in love with the house and all the, the young people. He was yeah. here two years ago when J. Roo was here. Three years here. ago. Three years ago. Yeah, 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 that's right. Was it was talking about cutting class, and they were like, yeah. J. Roo and the Scheme, which is, you know. They bonded yeah. just in a, in oh, a minute. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's like to be a fly on the wall moment. Like that it, was, it was good. Yeah. yeah. Do you think? Do you think, with Jay being here, it added so much value, so much value to the the idea that that helped kind of forge like his relationship with you know Denmark and because it I've seen videos of that too and he, he just seems totally like immersed like he loved it. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. When we talk about scheme, the fucking legend, man. Like that's yeah. it's, 
you know, he does doodle. <laughs> <laughs> he does do the doodle. Yeah, yeah. For real. certainly does. Yeah, yeah. bro. Even uh, here. Even here. Yeah. And, and he was so, here for, he was supposed to stay here for two weeks and then he stayed here for yeah, another week. He, he didn't want to leave. I think it was a whole month, actually. Yeah, maybe. And then he said, look, do you want to be in the crew? No, then I, he yeah. were like, he, he stayed at my house and met the family and all of this stuff. Then I went to see him and meet his family. <coughs> and then we, we went together to New York to see the, the TMT family. Mm -hmm. And had to, I had to meet all the presidents and all these, the older, <laughs> the older guys. <laughs> Blew my mind. Yeah. That would just do me in. And um, uh, I always, since I was a kid, I always, because not to, 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 to say something about you being in drug steady, but we heard about this breakdancer years ago who was invited, a German breakup invited into the Rocksteady crew and we were like, this doesn't go together. Because, you know, Rocksteady crew is New York and New York is New York. So no, I feel every, that, I feel that. Yeah, so every time I was asked to be in a New York crew, I would always say no to all these, you know, all these fancy crews. Yeah. But Scheme asked me and like, and I was sitting in the car with, with Teen and Kate and Scheme and we were like, the oh, only yeah. little white guy in the back seat. They're like, fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, yeah, I yeah, can do it. Yeah, yeah, you're not in Kansas anymore, man. No, like, you're not, in, you're not in Denmark. It's like, and I tell you what, I bet, it, I bet it was as immersive for you as it was for Scheme to come over here. Like, for you to be in the mix of over there and feel the energy, I would, for me, it'd be hard to say no. Mm. For real. Yes. It was so a, strange, you know, to, to yeah. sit with these guys and sit with Scheme, who I saw in Style Wars mm -hmm. and was dreaming about, you know, yeah. as I was a kid. I want to, you know, I want to be like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do last night? <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> it would have blown my mind, man. And the fact that you got him over here and it all laid out the way it did. Um, it what's the future, boys? What's the future? For you guys, what's what's the plan? I'll tell you. Lay it on me. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. No, the thing is, um, <laughs> man, this this is actually nothing. But we have to learn but just to, to maintain, box. we have to learn to beatbox first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, um, no, but honestly, just to maintain, it's, it sounds like nothing, uh. but to maintain and to and to uh, uh, stay on that whatever red whatever we call it in Denmark the red line to actually have mm -hmm. you know to see you, you you going in the right direction for real. you know and then and then we, we have to because we travel around quite a lot and then we meet artists and they you know they don't have families they don't have lawns and lawn mowers and they don't have have life a, a yeah, normal kind of life, life and kind of life. a normal job so, yeah, we have to take care of business <laughs> and then the career. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then build some more hip hop. It sounds incredibly cryptic. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's no. just, you know, we just noticed this, that, that it's strange that, you know, mm -hmm. everybody is out there, you know, they go to the studio in the morning and they work with, for their yeah. art. Because that's yeah. the, we do that's after what work. Yeah. We do we after go, work. We go to a normal job. Yeah. We work for the community here, actually. Yeah. For the municipality here. For the city so so what we do what you see is after after whatever is after family and after work and after whatever when everybody's sleeping pretty much that's that's when we meet in the yeah. studio and then we start to work yeah on our own <laughs> whatever the, yeah. the wife and the family and the kids and the, and the dog, dog. Yeah. so when we, when we have walked the dogs yeah after that yeah. clark kent <laughs> the then the superman yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we sit there like almost sleeping yeah. from one till three yeah. four in the morning like then you go home yeah, yeah. Wake up at seven, yeah. do it all over again. Exactly. Is it like a? Is it? Is this like a drug that you have to do? You do uh, daily. This is a. This is a daily operation that you wouldn't feel right if you didn't have graph at some point in your day. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not just graph, just no, hip hop. The whole, whole. Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. I've never. I've never come across anything like it. If you guys have ever been to Denmark, you know that the hip hop scene here is just. It's um. It, it, it's it's. Feels like it hasn't even aged slightly. Like there's kids out there that that are rapping along to older '90s songs, and I'm just like, yeah, well, before they were born. Before they were born, yeah. bro. 
and then well, they that's special for this city because yeah. the peace love and unity and having fun breakers out there there's break dancers there's everything. Mm. it never left yeah. this city no in but every other city you know the, the culture changed you have to be hardcore but i got what, all these the bitches vibes. i got all these money all those typical all this bullshit. but here it just stayed like the 80s yeah, because because of the fact that it's, it's so small the community here is so small it's not the capital like you know by far it's really a small community yeah. there's only i would say 80,000 people living here 80,000 that's really you know that's like a, that's a village size that, it is yeah. it's very small you know but even you know uh, grandmaster flash was sitting over there uh, a few years ago and here's you know, one was downstairs yeah here's one with, was here. yeah so and yeah everybody not everybody but you know, uh, large professor. You're here you know, now. You're here. <laughs> Don't tell her. You're here. You know, a, a long list of people, yeah. a long list of, 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 of MCs, a long list of graffiti artists. They just come through because they know the culture is here. Yeah, because we actually invite them. Yeah. And, Not just to come and, do a rap show, but just... No, to have a talk, to have an artist talk. Because, yeah, yeah, because of the entertainment thing, the, that uh, element uh, yeah. as, as well. No, but the thing is, because of the fact that it's so small, yeah. uh, early on, we didn't, we didn't have the... Uh, uh, you know the the typical cliche of you know the the, the beef or the or the or the, or the battling mm. because of the fact that we were so so few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no. It didn't make any kind of sense. It's like get together because yeah, there's yeah, only yeah, a few yeah, of us. Exactly. Yeah. So we had to actually even. Okay, so you are you still b boy? Well, I'm not. I'm I'm writing graffiti. Yeah, but we have to be friends because of the fact that we're in the same culture. Yeah. And on to the next. Well, I'm not a DJ, but. I'll even carry your, your, you know, your, your, your records and so on and so on. So and that's that, certainly and that, the and way actually this is the way is. A way to, yeah, a way to be here because mm. we have to actually, yeah, back to the peace, love, unity and having fun. We have to actually have that unity if we want to do something culture-wise here. I mean, it's a very rare case, isn't it? I mean, a lot of it's geographical. Probably. Clearly, it's like a, it's like that, that point mm-hmm. in the, in the in the in the country where it's like it has all the right ingredients, you know, it's like the, the Goldilocks, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And 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 again, like just heightening the value of this and what you're saying is like, you know, I'm of an age, you guys are of an age, we're different generations of hip hop. There's youngers out there. There there is new hip hop being played with old hip hop, but there's no. It's almost like time stood still on all of it. it that, yeah, 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 do you know what I'm saying? I, I, yeah. I and I've not I seen that before. I haven't okay, seen that wow. before. Not on that level. So, wow. yeah. I guess it's all down to you guys being a part of the, the, the ever, the turning of the wheel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah think, great. Think that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no man, listen, <laughs> a lot. respect, respect, you. this is fucking Kings here, Kings of Denmark inside the place, thank you so, so and much. Thank you. Sweat thank you. CMP inside the place. Um, Thanks a lot. And yo, pleasure boys, Killer Keller yeah, yeah. podcast, striking oh, once yeah. again. Two mics, three people. Hope you get the volume on this one, Keller. <laughs> Good luck with that on the mixing. <laughs> Killer Keller podcast. We are like he was out of fashion. Peace, people.